Perhaps no single corner of the internet is quite as self-important and flagrant in their licentious pursuit of the almighty advertising dime as that of video game journalism. Obviously, as I'm not one to shrink from describing the many private locations one should consider shoving a copy of Final Fantasy XIII in lieu of actually purchasing it, I've accrued my own dedicated retinue of vociferous detractors, usually culled from the same Alpha Sigma Sigma fraternity broskies that are convinced Modern Warfare 3 receiving anything less than a perfect 10 on IGN.com as a poor tent of the apocalypse. There's a very important distinction to make here, and... It begins with the transparent fact that I have never laid any claim to impartiality. In fact, it's the very opposite of my intent. If IGN's reviewers are the standard CNN news reporters, then my show is Rachel Maddow or Glenn Beck. It's opinion-based, and transparently so, clinging to no pretense about my own proclivities and peccadilloes. And therein lies my only lasting issue with the cloistered and incestuous conglomeration of self-interest and sweetheart review scores known as gaming journalism. Despite the obvious incentives they have to ne neglect, quite frankly, to deliver the consumer a full verity of a product's quality, considering many of these websites are in fact owned by the parent companies of the studios producing the very games they're reviewing, they will nevertheless cling impetuously to the absurd contention that they are legitimate journalists all the while questioning the credulity of, well, for example, Angry Joe at the VGAs. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I've seen Angry Joe's show, and as you've probably noticed, I've taken a few healthy jabs at him, all in well-meant parody. Why? I don't happen to think the guy tells you anything you can't already read on the back of a video game box. He's about as insightful as a monster truck rally and considerably less entertaining, but... When he walked up to Jeff Keighley, a man with exactly as many journalistic credentials as he has, see also, fuck all, Jeff's dismissal and condescension were so palpable and immediate that the remainder of that interview had to be conducted from inside of Jeff Keighley's upturned nose. See, Mr. Keighley works for GameFailers.com, a subsidiary of MTV which is in turn a subsidiary of Viacom. Now, Viacom owns many intellectual properties, but for the sake of argument, let's just talk about one, all right? Transformers, which is, you know, it's a production of Paramount Film Studios, which is yet another Viacom studio, or another Viacom subsidiary as well. The film comes out in tandem with what? A video game tie-in, right? The, all these movies come out with video game tie-ins. But during one of their badly written video reviews, does Game Failers feel the need to inform you of the obvious conflict of interest this presents? Certainly not, even though journalists are legally compelled to divulge a conflict of interest in their ownership. Watch any episode of PBS Frontline that ever discusses the subject of public broadcasting. They have to include a disclaimer. No, see, Game Failers will happily benefit financially from your continued ignorance of their profligate business practices. I'm not a journalist, Rageaholics, but I'm also not pretending to be one. Remember that the next time you comment on a review of mine you deign to disagree with. I'm volunteering my opinion, with no encumbrances laid upon impartiality. I'm Razorfist. God fucking speed!